you scare me? I'm glad you're okay. Um. Eh? How come you have brought this necklace back? Look, Curtis. Vincent found this in a really deep spot. They are super hard. And now look at that spot. This, did those gems do that? Yeah, and after I pressed them under my pillow, I kept having nightmares. But after we took the gems away, I stopped having those dreams. I'm pretty sure the gems caused them. I also feel there was something up with these gems, so I write you take a look. Following what Ching Ching said, I pressed them under my pillow for a few nights. But they didn't have any effect on me. Curtis, don't break them. It's a good thing you didn't. Curtis is way too strong. I honestly thought they were going to break just now. I suspect that they are made from the same substance as crystal or emeralds. Because they are all so hard. Why have you never mentioned that? I only recently thought of it. Oh, then maybe we could eat one to test it. Um. No, we don't have that many. No testing. When we have found more of them, we can try feeding some to wild bees. Whatever you want. What was in your dreams? <laughs> I had very vivid dreams. That day I entered I woke up after that. I understand what you mean. Hey, what do you understand? Once again, they are talking in a way that I can follow. However, Winston said that these gems might be made of the same stuff as crystals and emeralds. Crystals represent strength and emeralds represent life. So, what do these excited gems represent? Memories But I didn't dream about anything. Maybe your dreams were a coincidence. Then I'll try sleeping with this again. I dream of a female, maybe it only works on the females. No. Yeah. 
Why so wrong? You guys kill me. Now that I think about it, emeralds and crystals take direct e effect on the body. But those are all extensions on the physical body. Memories, meanwhile, are a cornerstone of life itself. If these memories work on people like crystals or emeralds, it would, it would basically be as if the user's body had been stolen from them. Immortality? No, I need to try again. <laughs> yeah, let's not eat this. I'll just put them under my pillow. Give it a try. What? That's too dangerous. Ah, wait. I'm going to take this necklace upstairs. An aunt is delicate and she's only three months old. She's too frail. If these really are condensed memories, then they are way too dangerous to keep around an aunt. Take them away. I'll sleep at star tonight. Hehe. <laughs> actually, I think these memories are quite weak and can actually affect my thoughts. They don't seem to have any effect during the day either. And I'm sleeping well right now. When An An was still only 7 days old, they didn't seem to have much of an effect on her. And I'm already an adult on it. That means it's even less likely to cause problems. If we don't let her try, she won't ever give up. But it's a deal then. I'll sit upstairs tonight. Ah, <sighs> fine. Look at that parting leopard over there. Perhaps, doesn't your father look super imposing right now? So embarrassing. Darn cops, you're always so poorly behaved. Can, can't you compliment me a little? The cups are back. Where's your father? Over there. What's wrong? Did he cause trouble again?
so he's the first to create a weapon from metal. I heard he saved off a bunch of his fur while trying to scratch an it with the cross on. I bet he's missing a bunch of fur from his back too. These cross are so sharp, I wonder when I'll be able to finish the next iteration. I have to be more careful going forward. You better not end up like that too or I won't want you anymore. Then I'll definitely have to be careful. I can't end up like that leopard. I bet his female finds him ugly now. <laughs> that foolish leopard has he not noticed how everyone's looking at him? Come back, Jing Jing. You're embarrassing yourself out there. What's Jing Jing's hearing? There's too much wind, and I can't hear her. But it has to be something along the lines of missing me. Oh. Cut that out. Let's head inside. 